welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's friday i lost what day is it but it's friday um and i have a mess in my apartment room i have a whole mess in my living room that's not it i'm gonna show you my kitchen i have a mess in my kitchen and then my baby girl y'all we woke up and she had a big blowout it was so bad it got all over her crib sheets all over her blankets and right now she's taking a nap i removed everything from the crib she's taking a nap i don't want to go in there and make noise because she was getting so cranky but she woke up so early she woke up at 7 30 ish and so today i'm just gonna clean my apartment i have to do laundry um our laundry basket it's so full it's literally so full so i gotta do laundry i have to do baby girl's laundry too because like i said she had a really bad blowout this morning it was so bad it got all over her crib sheets and um i'm gonna clean the living room i also want to clean the restroom i do like cleaning my restroom at least once a week you know because the restroom's like the dirtiest place in the house okay y'all so i'm gonna start out by doing my daughter's laundry first just to get it out of the way first and then i'm gonna start on mine's and my husband's i'm gonna show you if you're a mom just you know i'm just gonna show you like the laundry detergent i use for my daughter's clothes and the baby softener i use okay so this is the laundry detergent i use for my daughter's clothes i used to use drift um but i've heard really bad um things about the drift laundry detergent i'm not gonna lie it smelled really good it smelled even better than this one but um a pediatrician said that it has really bad chemicals and stuff like that so i had to switch to all and somebody also recommended me the arm and hammer um baby which it's really hard to find i can't find it nowhere so that's the laundry detergent i use for my daughter so this is the fabric softener i use for my baby girl's clothes this softener smells so good this is my favorite i actually get it from walmart and i'm not sure if they have a bigger size but i have to constantly be buying every time i go just because it only has all the way to 38 loads um but yeah this is the one i love using i think it's like three dollars four dollars at walmart it's pretty cheap but i've heard really good things about this one this is the softener i use it makes her clothes smell so good and then this is the detergent i use so yeah so i just threw a load of laundry um also one thing about me i don't know but growing up i've heard, i've seen people that they separate their like white clothes with the dark one you know they're like First, they put in a load of white clothes, and then they'll do a dark load. I personally, my mom never did that growing up, so that's why I don't do it. The The way I do laundry, you're probably wondering, like, girl, why do you have the dark clothes mixed with the, with the white clothes? But I honestly, I haven't had, like, how do I say? I haven't had issues throwing, like, the dark clothes with the white clothes together i've asked a friend like hey because my friend that's the way she does it like she separates the white with the dark and i'm like hey like what's the difference and she's not like you don't separate it i'm like no and i've heard a lot of people do separate it and she's not like well people separate it just so you know like the dark clothes won't stain the white clothes i guess or basically just because you know you they they use different detergents for each color I personally just throw in the whole clothes together like my daughter's laundry I just throw it all together my laundry I do it all together my husband's laundry I do it all together the dark with the white and honestly I have not had an issue with doing the white with the dark I honestly have never seen like stains on my white clothes I'm not I don't know y'all but comment down below how you guys do laundry because I asked another friend she said no I don't separate it either you know and it's just like everybody i know everybody does laundry um different there's even people that have baking soda and vinegar into their laundry so as i'm asking like how do y'all do laundry comment down below because <laughs> i'm like oh my god what if they come at me for doing laundry the white with the dark but that's just the way i do it because growing up my mom never separated the clothes 
But yeah, I feel like growing up, like everything you learned in your household with your parents, you just take it with you, if that makes sense. Because the way my mom makes her spaghetti, it's the same way I do it now. Just the the way my mom does laundry, it's the same way I do it now. And it's just crazy, you know, because everybody's raised differently. So the way you're raised, the way you were taught certain things, you just take them with you. And it's crazy, right? Anyways, let me go ahead and get back to cleaning because... I have a whole bunch of mess, and if I don't clean it, it's not going to get done itself. Um, I'm going to add more ice into my iced coffee because I'm not trying to waste coffee, y'all. I also soon have to go to the North Park Mall because I got to stock up on some more Nespresso pods. I think I have for like another 20 cups of coffee, but yeah, I think I'm going to go in February. I don't even have time to go today or any of these days, but let me go ahead and get done cleaning my kitchen. crazy in there we just i don't know if you're a mom you can get it sometimes it could be a little overwhelming just being at home but don't don't get me wrong i love being a stay-at-home mom i love being home with my baby without having to worry somebody is mistreating her without having to worry about anything you know i'm she's in good hands with me i love my daughter i love being home with her but sometimes it could be a little chaos she's going crazy i'm going crazy we're both going crazy it's just not the vibe so we're gonna go to Target. By the way, she does need formula. So we're gonna go to Target and get some formula. And then um, I also do wanna go to Dutch Bros and get me a drink. But let me go ahead and start driving before she starts crying. Okay, y'all, so I found Kehlani's formula. $46.99 for this one. And then they have this one for $34.99. But they also have this one for $29.99, but the thing is that she's eating way a lot more. And I don't know how long is it going to last her. What do you think, Mama? Yeah, so here at Target, they actually have the bigger boxes that have 15 sandwiches. So we're going to take one. here now and there's not that many cars but i can literally feel my baby girls falling asleep i don't know if i told you but she was throwing a tantrum once i was at the register paying it was a little embarrassing because there was people watching me yeah motherhood literally but i'm here now at dutch bros and she's falling asleep which is perfect timing because we do have a 10 minute drive back home so i'm gonna be sipping on some coffee and yeah yeah, I literally bought only like four or five items and it was like $60 at Target. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's terrible. This is a bad lighting, but I got myself some Dutch Bros because I was craving it. And there's literally a Dutch Bros like right across Target. So I decided to stop by and treat me with a little coffee. Literally, I needed to just mom fuel at this moment because y'all yeah, it's been so chaotic all day i'm gonna talk to you a little bit more once i'm inside because i feel like my daughter's gonna wake up and she's just gonna go wild let me just so yeah let me go ahead and show y'all this is a golden eagle christmas morning this is my favorite drink from duncan it's basically a chai but it's called a christmas morning and this literally tastes like horchata if you know what's a horchata it literally tastes like horchata but so good if you go to duncan you need to try this it's so good and she gave me a pink straw cheers it literally tasted so good i literally got a large because i just much needed i just much needed one 
And I'm like, give me the biggest one y'all got because I'm literally going crazy today. But I went to Target, y'all, and I literally spent $58 and I only got four items. <laughs> it was my daughter's formula, y'all. My daughter's formula was $35. Yes, almost $40 for some formula. That's a few hours later. I guacamole, pico de gallo. I made it and I also made some spicy ass green salsa. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. And I'm starving because I haven't eaten anything besides breakfast. But look, y'all. Oh my god. They look so good. They made wings. And then I made some rice on the side. And I made the pico de gallo with guacamole. And I also made this spicy ass green salsa. So, okay, I excuse the mirror. It's so dirty, you gotta clean it. But this is the OOTD. We're gonna go to Best Buy because I need a new screen protector. I literally cracked mine like two days ago. And yeah, and we're gonna go get pizza because I'm really craving pizza. And just spend some quality time with my husband because he just go back to work tomorrow. So this is my OOTD. I'm matching my baby girl. She's wearing her little cute hat and her little cute Uggs. But she's in the living room with her uncle. But other than that, this is my OOTD. I already packed my diaper bag. Well, her diaper bag. Hopefully, I'm not missing anything. Um. Mama. Mama, let them see you. Look, mi amor, gorgeous. Yeah, my baby girl looks so cute. We matching. We're matching Uggs and we're matching our little beanies. Right, mama? I got my beanie from Shein and I got hers from Shein. And I'm going to show y'all our little boots. I've been having my Uggs for a while, but I got her some Uggs like two, three months ago for the winter. And the Uggs look so cute on my baby. Thank you.